We are looking at the 86 rated Trailblazers Palacios here. 5 foot 10, medium high work rates, 3 star, 4 star, mostly explosive, right footed. Can play centre mid, CDM or cam, so fantastic for chemistry. Unbelievably good defending stats, really good composure, agility, balance. Outstanding short pass and long pass. In terms of play styles, we have got long ball pass, tick attacker, intercept, anticipate, and slide tackle. Now, we have gone for a shadow. If we were to jump over to foot bend, I think it's pretty obvious why. But the main reason is it gives him 92 defending overall and 81 pace. And as well as that, it makes him into a 90 rated CDM. Now, we are going to be playing in our 4 2 3 1 system. He's going to be our CDM. He's going to be shutting down defense, trying to transition into attack from us for stopping their attack and basically trying to do his job in that sense. Let's just go jump into some gameplay and see how we got on with Palacios today. Stop right there with the introduction of kits, tokens, and now evolutions needed FC points or coins to complete them. There is no better time than to head over to iggm.com. Get yourself some coins, very, very cheap, fast and reliable. Use discount code NANIC at the store and get 5% off. The link will be in the description. So with Palacios today, as mentioned, he's playing in our 4-2-3-1 system. His main job is just to shut down that defense, stop our opponent getting any goals. And of course, how he feels on and off the ball in terms of dribble. Is the defensive stats good enough? Are the play styles that have been added even better? That's a good start from an interception. As we do get him on the ball now, testing out his skill moves. Left stick dribbling feels very responsive. And that's going to be his job, just sitting in his pocket of space here, as you can see. As our opponents just try to do an absolute crazy Travella shot there. As we get ourselves on a counter-attack, going to drive him up. Palacios here driving down against the Son. Good strength, can't quite hold him off, but he does get the cover up. Sometimes your CDM's just got to stop the initial attack, doesn't mean to have to make the tackle there, slow him down. Got him here, lovely ball in back into our son. Back to Palacios, drive in. Can you find Kevin De Bruyne? What a ball in, what a pass that was. We're gonna reset, that's a terrible pass from Dembele though, but you can see there the pass in. But you can see there on our screen, that's where he's playing in that second right-hand side CDM role with Son to the right. We are gonna make a little bit of changes up front to get some pace on. So we have put Mkhitaryan Trailblazers next to him. And the main reason is I need someone to pass out. I want Palacios to be our main defender. And that, them first touch passes are absolutely fantastic. Now we've got him in the space here. Ah, oh, it's a very bad pass from him there. What was that? Good tackle, though. Find Palacios here, driving. Gets past one tackle. Look at the pace of him. A little cut back. Not quite, unfortunately. Now let's see his recovery speed. Here we are finding Palacios now. Couldn't quite play that through ball, unfortunately. Does intercept, though. Lovely pass in. And we get the assist as well. And that all came from his mistake initially. Then he does that intercept with that new play style. And then gets an assist as well to Son. That's a fantastic start from him. So far, I'm not really noticing any problems. A little bit sluggish when he's running with the ball, but that's about it. Again, great tackle. Get the little counter-attack underway. Little one-two. Out wide, find Dembele. And we get another goal. And again, that came from Palacios' tackle initially and then the pass. This card's very good for a free card, especially if you're running the Bundesliga team. He's definitely up there at one of the best. Again, a lovely interception. We got a bit unlucky there with the animation. And caught out. Palacios got to come back and defend. Great tackle. Fantastic against Nkunku there. A little bit of trouble here. Left it dribble. Couldn't get the pass out, unfortunately. Notice his passing's a little bit inconsistent and short passing. But we are getting absolutely hounded on heavy press, so it does make sense. Good bit of space. Back to Palacios. We've got the pass into Kevin De Bruyne. Little ball over. Can we get on the end of it? Not quite. Getting Palacios on the ball. Through ball into Kevin De Bruyne. Cut back. And a lovely goal there again. Palacios setting that up. Palacios here against Nkunku, keeping up with him, good recovery, good turn, not letting him go anywhere, keeping that pressure on, and then we get a lovely tackle, counter-attack, ball over the top, we got him through here, not quite, Blanc is an absolute machine, but we do win a free kick, I think, or oh, we haven't actually, maybe we fouled, Palacios here gets him behind, lovely ball into Son, first time finesse, and a lovely assist again, what a goal, this opponent's struggling big time with him, he's not second man press, not a problem here, nowhere to go. And we get to pick up the loose ball here. And the Palacios is driving again for us. 
Lovely ball over the top. Can we get on the end of it? Nearly. Good slide tackle there. Palacios, again, a great tackle from him. He's everywhere. That shadow coming in clutch. Using that RB dribble. Gets out of the situation. Blanc's coming up. Bit of skill. See ya. Little pass in. And it should have been another assist. We'll have a look at his set pieces. Let's see if he's good at corners, free kicks, or penalties. So he's got 75 pen. And I know in real life he takes a lot of penalties. So that is surprising. Palacios, the Traveller. He can't do Travellers, unfortunately. That is a shame. Palacios here. Lovely through ball into Vlaola. Get ourselves a penalty. And we will take it with Palacios. Doesn't really matter if he scores it or not. But we're going to go and bury it bottom left if we can. Even if he is standing there, we'll still put it there. Let's see. Bottom left, a lot of power. And we absolutely rock it into the net. What a penalty that was. And that is half time. An unbelievably good performance so far. I'm really liking his animation off the ball and his positioning to be able to intercept the tackles and passes and everything like that. If we go to have a look at his performance in a minute, we can see how good he really is. So we can see here he's had one goal, two assists. In terms of possession, he's had 23 dribbles out of 25 complete. That's unbelievable. In terms of shots, we've had one goal, which was the penalty. One Travello, which was off target. And this is where he shines. 16 passes out of 23 complete. They've been really long through balls. He's had two assists, one second assist, and three key passes. And then defending. 100% tackle rate, four out of four. Two interceptions. He's had three out of four defensive duels won. He's been absolutely everywhere on the pitch. I do think we've seen enough gameplay. We don't really need to go check anything out. So let's just go have a look on Footbin. Talk about chem styles, positioning, and much more. So we are on Footbin, of course, and we have got him with a shadow. Now, I do think this is his best positioning in terms of playing as a CDM with a shadow on. Because that defensive awareness is 88, his inceptions are 98. He basically is all over the place. Not only that, having 95 stand tackle. Slide tackle is manual, so I won't really talk about that too much. But he's an absolute machine, and the main reason being is his intercept and anticipate. These two together are an absolute dangerous combination. I hope that EA don't add this in the future where both of these are on pluses because it's going to be impossible to get past people. Not only that, having 90 stamina means he never gets tired, especially if you're playing him in that defensive role like we were. You could do a full team press the entire game and he will not get tired in that positioning. Having 90 long pass and 91 short pass is also absolutely unbelievably good as well for getting out of the situations. Yes, the finishing isn't great, Something you have to take of a pinch of salt, of course. 86 acceleration is fantastic for somebody. It is a height of 5 foot 10 and 178 centimeters. He's got a lean body type, so he does feel very good on the left stick. But of course, does matter if he's going to be moving with the ball or not. But overall, he's a really good car. For someone that's for free in terms of doing the objective, it took me about an hour max, I'd say. An hour to complete the SBC. That's absolutely unbelievable. And I just think he's a really good car for what you get. Now, the links are a little bit annoying being Bundesliga, don't get me wrong, and Argentinian. But it is early days. We should get quite a lot of these as we go on. Now, if we were to compare him to his goal card, or his him in form even, sorry. You can see here that he doesn't have um, the new play styles that he has in the new card, as well as his gold. If we go back to his play, trailblazers even, sorry, and we compare him here. He's going to have the long pass, the slide tackle that have been added, as well as ticker tackle. So his passing's really improved. Whereas we compare him to his goal card and what he gets in boost, he gets a plus nine on pace, plus eight on passing, plus seven on dribbling, and just overall a really big boost. If you have any questions about this card or any other card, please comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, smash that like button and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.